Welcome everybody to the first video in our virtual Farm Show 2020 series. Uh, this year, since everything going on, we Case IH and friends have decided that we're, we're gonna switch to a virtual setting so we can still showcase some of our cool items and our cool affiliates while being safe at home and doing all that social distancing. So my name's Alex Furman, I'm with Case IH, and today I have author of Casey and Friends book series, Holly Dufek. Welcome, Holly. Thank you, Alex. Hello, so, everyone. So uh, today I'd like to get started by learning a little bit about Holly and where she's coming from and her background and what she can tell us about this series. So Holly, if you would, please uh, tell me a little bit about, about your background as an author, as an artist, and connections to farming, if you have any. Sure. Well, uh, I grew up in a rural community in western Wisconsin, and my grandparents had a farm. So uh, I'm a little, uh, obviously, farming about 30 years ago, very different from farming today. But uh, I grew up helping them in summers on the farm, and, uh, and my brother still farms today. So I, I definitely have that connection and love for agriculture. And as a writer, um, I have my degree, my master's in education, and I've been part of education. I write for educational uh, textbooks, and um, I just really enjoy learning and teaching. And so uh, writing Casey and Friends is really just a dream come true because it, it, it combines two of my favorite things, farming and education and writing. I love it. I love it. So with all that being said, why did you decide to start Casey and Friends as a project? Uh, so Casey and Friends started uh, because there, there really wasn't before then a lot of uh, educational materials about modern farming for children. And specifically Casey and Friends were focusing on the science, the technology of the equipment in modern farming. And uh, I think it's so much more sophisticated than most people probably have any idea about. And so that's pretty much, um, that was the birth, if you will, of, of Casey and Friends is, is just putting out into the public, you know, all the things that we eat, even the clothes we wear, so many products, where they stem from, and all of the the work and science that goes into it, you know, that's that's what Casey and Friends is, is really about. That's great. I, I definitely agree that uh, everybody understands that they have food on the table, but sometimes they don't understand the full process of how that food gets there and, and the steps that it takes and how much technology is involved and how much time and effort is involved. So that's, that's awesome. Um, so tell me about the process of writing the book from start to finish. You know, we, we, we get where you came from and why you wanted to do it. So, how do you how do you envision your characters and, and the development and how do you how do you get started? What research do you do? Sure. So uh, when the series first started, it was um, though it was a, it was a lot of fun. So we uh, a whole team, not just myself, but a whole team of um, creative people. We we sat down together and we. Uh, started to make up our characters and obviously we needed a farmer and we thought it was really important to portray a woman on the farm since that's what wasn't necessarily um, something that was out there at the time showing uh, women as farmers and so uh, we had Casey and then uh, all of our other equipment since we knew you know the basis of these books would focus on equipment we made all of our characters uh, essentially equipment. And so that was how we started the series was just coming up with all of our characters and it was fun naming them and giving them personalities based on what they do. Um, and then, so then from there, the first book we wrote essentially was A Year on the Farm. It was a very high level uh, book about farming and in that book and, and really all of the other books since the process is very similar. We come up with our theme, whatever the book is, um, a year in the farm or like our, our most recent one is tech on the farm. So we have our theme and then we look through, I, I'm blessed enough to, to have 
tons of people, uh, specialists and engineers give me the information. You know, I do a little research on my side, but I also am given a lot of information on uh, how the equipment works and uh, what how it's engineered to, to work specifically for certain conditions that a farmer might encounter. And then I take all of this information and I try to understand it myself. And, um, and then in the process as I understand it, then I try to uh, simplify it, but not dumb it down for the reader. So, so they can see what these, these pieces of equipment do and everything that goes into them, but it's still understandable. And of course we uh, wanna make it fun. So there's mixed in with all the information. We have lots of fun facts about farming or the equipment and our, our little character, Tillis, who is a worm. Um, we, we like to give him his own side bar, which is a Tillis talk. And he, he likes to teach us all sorts of things in those sidebars. So it's a mixture of, um, researching fun facts and then trying to distill all of the the technology of whatever our theme is into into understandable text sure so what what are the what are age groups geared towards the, at least the first books i know i know they start to build off each other a little bit so what's the age group that's mm -hmm. for the year on the farm so the age group when you look at it it says it's it's a book from four to eight um, you can, the, the beauty of these books is that you can read them in different levels. That's, that was kind of when I was developing the series, I wanted it to be something that um, at the time I was a mother of very young kids and I knew that, you know, some books that they loved, there'd be a lot of text that was wonderful, but my kids did not want to sit through it. So I knew that I wanted to build a series that you can just read maybe some certain bubbles and get through the book and the kids love it and it's fun. And then the older uh, children or, or as time goes on and there's more of a, like a, an intention span, then you can read a little bit more of the nitty gritty. And that's why we kind of have different sections of the book, you know, with that, we have high, higher level uh, bubbles. We have Tillis talks that are just things. So really the book can go anywhere from, little people all the way up to you know grades one two three sure and <clears throat> i know you you had said that you kind of broke the mold with having a female character i love that you know it's 2020 right what makes right. the Casey and friends series unique what what breaks it out i think i you know from what i've been looking at out there i think what makes it unique is that it is informational. There's a plenty of children's books uh, on farming that are stories and, and, you know, they're fun and they show the, you know, the characters of equipment. But what we really, really wanted to do with Casey and Friends was make it educational. So I think it's the mixture of, we do have, you know, illustrated cartoon characters, which are really fun. But then they're all throughout the all of the books are beautiful um, photography of the equipment, uh, the equipment working, and so um, I think that is something new and different for children's equipment. It's kind of meshing the two, the the story and the fun with educational. I think everything out there is a lot of it. It's either one or the other, and so with Casey and Friends, we kind of wanted to do both. Sure. Absolutely agree. All right. And to, to wrap this up a little bit, what do you hope the readers will take away? The parents with their children, what do you think is the most important thing to take away after reading some of these books? Well, I, um, it's going to be different, obviously, for different audiences. You know, I, I hope that farm kids are going to read this and be excited and say, like, that's on our farm. My my dad, mom, grandparents, they drive those things and they have a pride uh, within them to say, yes, this is, this is what it's like. Um, and then for anyone who's not part of an ag community, I, I really would hope that they would read these and understand that agriculture is so much more than just a farmer on his or her tractor, you know, in the fields. There's so much uh, work, 
there's lots of technology, there's lots of um, positions and careers outside of just the farmer in the ag community. And also just to have a, a better understanding and maybe a little bit of appreciation of when you're sitting down and eating, like thinking yeah, uh, that thought of like, wow, a lot of work went into to this and that, you know, food didn't just come from a grocery store. Someone had to put a lot of, you know, right. uh, blood, sweat and tears into getting it there. Yeah, absolutely. Helping from a young age, bridge that gap and help future farmers maybe to, to understand the whole gravity, the whole supply chain in that. Uh, well, um, I will end this by seeing if I could get any special sneak peek into the future and seeing uh, what's next for Casey and friends. Any insight, Holly? Uh, you know what? Um, I can't give you any guarantees of specific themes, but Casey definitely has a few more adventures that her and her team are going to go on. I am looking forward to it. And in the meantime, for everybody out there watching, Check out some of the cool other editions that will be here for the farm show. We have books like Big Tractors and Casey and Friends Sticker Book Collection. And you can check all these out on our farm show tab at shopcaseih.com this year. Or you can go to caseyandfriends.shopcaseih.com. That's caseyandfriends.shopcaseih.com. So stay tuned. And in the future, we will have Holly with us again doing a live reading of one of her favorite books. All right. Thank you for your time, Holly. I appreciate it. Thanks, Alex. It was a pleasure. All right. Well, see you next time. Mm -hmm.